Hello guys, this is Bill Killen back with another base build today on Boom Beach. This time it's Headquarters 12. Headquarters 12, I've been sweating my ass off to get this this Headquarters and I'm being very stingy with my diamonds as you can see. I've got a flipping <laughs> a thousand diamonds. Anyway, let's get on with the base build. I'm sure you guys don't really want to hear me blabbering on, right? But this is this is going to get something really straight for you guys. For Headquarters 12, the most important thing at the moment is your boom cannon. It is really important where you place this. You want to place this so you have a lot of... Um, so it takes most of your um, base build up. So let's, let's get started, right? We've got our HQ here, right? Like, let's do something with this. We want to make it so it's pretty... Pretty tucked into the corner, like all of our base builds that we usually make it's just that that boulder is really annoying me and it just i need to get that i need to wait till 13 to destroy it we're just gonna have to to do the base build with with this stupid boulder in the way right but anyway let's go we're gonna put our base uh, hq there then we're gonna put our boom cannon here so we get a lot of the space and we're gonna put another archer tower tucked in the corner here Actually, no, 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 what am I doing, what am I doing, we don't want an archer tower, we want mortars at the bottom, as per our usual, mortar, 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 triple mortar, there we go, three mortars, tight pack like that, so this can cover huge mortar fire right around the base, now we want the two flamethrowers to stop any warriors rushing us. There we go, flamethrower, flamethrower. Then we want archer tower. Because the next thing that is going to be really, really, really... Well, they're going to want to take out the boom cannon straight away. And then the second priority for them is the cannons. So we make sure that the boom cannon and the cannons are separated. Because we don't want them to take both of them out at once. So we do it separated like this so we hide it's quite hard for them to get both at the same time makes sense doesn't it now now if we're in between that gap we want another archer tower like so now we want to fill in the gaps with machine guns both sides like so now, they'll be intimidated to wanting to come at this side here, where I'm zooming in. They want to come in here. But, if we make it so they want to come round, then we get them using all of the map and waste a lot of time. So that's why we put our archer towers even further out. to want Because we're going to want to drag them out. So it means that we get a lot of shots when they're, when they're getting dragged out. And for the last things first, we intimidate them with a third... Then we intimidate them with all these machine guns at the front here. And that's a lot of fire. Now, we want them to come round. So we just fill in the gaps with the buildings. Just fill in the gaps with the buildings. So we don't give them any free resources at all. So we just put them all round the back. Most of them round the back. Like so. And then we want a few in the front. Just act as like a wall and like as I say, like Clash of Clans acts as a wall. They'll have to destroy your stuff too before they can before they can touch your 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 um defences. So, yes, it's free energy, but trust me it works perfectly. They will have to destroy this stuff while these are getting absolutely fired at. Oops it is it, let's move that online with the machine gun. Put that in there. And then just put these round your base. So they act as walls all round your base. So it's kinda like you're building out the ways and your uh, buildings are the shield to it. Just try to check if that yes that will keep that safe. And then just put the quarry just tucked right up here. They can just they can destroy that's fine. And that's us base build. Right. Now for the mine selection here. We want to make our mines very 
intimidating. They're going to want to to come in here. They, they, it just makes it look like they want to come in here, but that is the r completely wrong decision to do. We want them to come. They should be coming around the back to get the free energy. So we just push, put a lot of scattered um, mines like I usually do in all my base builds. It makes it very hard to predict what at the time they've got to to make the right decision because there's no right way to do it if you do it like this. It means that if they go anyway, they're they're getting pretty much screwed by mines. Now tanks, since you have to, if if someone comes with tanks, it means they don't have enough energy left. They don't have that much energy left because you have to take, waste two energy to 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 deploy a tank. So if you use our tank mines right at the start, they'll be most likely to lay their tanks coming right at the start because they won't have enough energy to flay around. So we put our our, boot, our thingy mines here. A few. I put a mine behind this guy's head. Hopefully they don't wreck, see it. See it behind that head there. You can barely see it. It's quite a good way to camouflage your mines. Got one behind this guy's head as well. So there's two mines there. And there's three. So they'll just. Some guys will come through here, get blown up, and that's it. So that's my baseball today, guys. I know it's, it looks pretty solid. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you guys in on the forms um, how this base goes, but it looks pretty good so far. I don't think there's much weaknesses to this um, that much. It looks really solid. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you guys with the the video here today, guys. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hope you guys think I was already talking or whatever. I know sometimes I'm quite shit at it. But it doesn't matter, right? I'm gonna be I'm gonna go now guys. I'm gonna see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy the base build and peace out.